Hello, I'm Andy Sullivan. Welcome to this module on troubleshooting industrial furnaces. Please note that this video was captioned. The first question is why do we need to learn about troubleshooting furnaces? There are a few reasons. Furnaces are common in process plants including oil refineries, chemical plants, gas treating plants, and food processing facilities. For example, there were a dozen furnaces at the 60,000 barrel per day oil refinery that I worked at. Furnaces have specific hazards that must be managed for safety. Large quantities of fuel and air are mixed and burned in a furnace. A small industrial furnace burns about 500 times more fuel than a residential furnace. Re reliable and safe furnace operations have been a challenge for industry. I can recall several incidents, including one where flames were were propelled backwards out the bottom of a furnace close to operators attempting to start the furnace. We will cover this incident in detail later in the module. When you complete this module, you will be able to list the components of a furnace and explain how they function. Apply your understanding of furnace control systems to analyze how they can create undesirable scenarios including abnormal operations, unless operators take appropriate actions. Create a process flow diagram, PFD, of a typical furnace from memory, including the control system. Efficiently and safely operate a furnace and respond to non-routine events such as furnace flooding, emergency shutdowns, and furnace restarts. You will have the opportunity to practice these responses using a 3D virtual furnace simulation and evaluate furnace operations and determine if a potentially unsafe condition such as flooding exists. You will be able to develop a response plan and defend your plan in the face of uncertain and imperfect process data. We have a lot to cover, so I will see you in the next section on furnace components. Thank you.